stock up and stock down players coming off the Georgia Southern win. You are Locked On Badgers, your daily podcast on the Wisconsin Badgers. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Locked On Badgers, your team every day. I'm your host, Ryan Herrings. Really do appreciate you tuning in. Uh, let's do some stock up and stock down coming off that Georgia Southern win. Uh, Wisconsin pulls away at the end in a game that was relatively close most of the way. Let's start stock up on offense. Let's start with the big tight end. Let's start with Rucci. Uh, two for 51, had a 47-yard rumble. Listen, we talked about Rucci a lot on this program. A really good blocker, um, but he's got good hands. Rucci can be a solid receiving threat. Again, he's not the twitchiest guy, but... You know, if you throw it into his area, he's going to typically catch it, big body, and he can run okay. So, yeah, two receptions, 51 yards, uh, led the Badgers with a 47-yard long today. Stock up, Hayden Rucci. Let's go, big man. Stock up, Skylar Bell, uh, favorite of Rajiv. He, he's put together back-to-back pretty good weeks. Uh, led the Badgers in receptions today with five, had 47 yards, showed the ability in space that we've always really seen with Sky. Like, Sky can put a move. The first person, if you get Skylar Bell in space, the first person has difficulty bringing him down. Like, that is his – that's his differentiator, right? There's not a lot of bad receivers right now that you would say that about. Maybe Pauling, but Pauling's more of an – excuse me, an explosive guy, put the foot on the ground, run past angles. Sky will just make a dude miss. Um, The questions have always been hands with Sky going back to last year. Two weeks in a row, it's it's he's caught everything thrown to him. Um, they're starting to get him the ball in space as the outlet. He's kind of that weapon uh, that they're able to get the ball to and get an easy six, an easy seven. So stock up Skyler Bell, led the Badgers in receptions today. Really solidified himself as kind of a unique weapon in Longo's offense. Let's go stock up Atticus Bertrams. You know, like, here's the thing with a punter. If you don't talk about him much through the course of the game, not a bad thing. Right. I had six punts today, 42 yard average. But again, the big thing coming into this year, we talked about Vakos. We talked about Bertrams. Are they going to make game changing mistakes? Right. Is it going is he going to drop a punt or is he going to punt the ball out of bounds and shank one for 17 yards? Is Vakos going to veto Calvaroso at where, you know, he's, he's not you can't use him out there. Both of the players, both of the specialists they brought in so far have been fine. I mean, Vaco's, I, I would say, better than fine, but Bertram's have been really solid. And if you don't have a great punter, you darn well better at least be okay and solid there. And so far, it's been solid. Uh, he, there's no real complaints. Um, he, he shanked one, I think, last week against Wazoo. But for the most part, he's been solid. He was solid today. And that's that's all you're hoping for, bringing in a new punter, right? So, yeah, I'm going to stock up Bertram's as well. Bertram's. All right, let's go on the defensive side, stock up. Listen, this is becoming an annual segment, um, but he, he just keeps upping the ante, right? Stock up Hunter Wohler. Again, he, like that that dude, man, again, for the third time, leads the Badgers in tackles, has 10 tackles, six solo. Oh, by the way, he throws in a sack. By the way, he throws in two interceptions, one of which was a masterful job where he just kind of baited the quarterback. Um, the, the one down the, the left sideline. He's just so good. Um, there was He's so good that when he occasionally misses kind of a tough tackle, there's a play, I think it was in the first half, where uh, Georgia Southern was running kind of a toss sweep, a power sweep, getting the ball to the outside. Hunter Roller came flying in like a lightning bolt like he always does, and he missed the tackle. It was a tough angle. And it stood out, right, because I was like, ah, oh, he doesn't miss tackles, right? That, that's not something Hunter does. He's just so good. Once again, 10 tackles, uh, double-figure tackles, third third game in a row, adds on to the two picks. He's just a monster. Like like we said during the, the game today and the, during the reaction show, um, be prepared to say goodbye to Hunter Wohler after this year because that dude, yeah, that dude's going to the league. Um, deservedly in so. Books, oh, my T kicked on. I apologize for that. Deservedly so. That dude's going to the league. So Hunter Wohler, major stock up. Let's go stock up Jake Cheney. Five tackles, a sack. Again, he's just so explosive. Um, I, I really love what Cheney's brought to this defense this year. He's taken a step up. He he looks like he'd spent a great offseason in the strength and conditioning program for, for Cheney. He had a really nice pass rush in this game to get a nice sack. He's a good player. Um, let's also go stock up Daryl Peterson. Four tackles, two sacks. 
he's a guy who, you know, we needed we needed something from Peterson. Uh, he stepped up in a big way today. Part of that Padres pass rush that had several sacks. Um, he had a really nice pressure off the left side in this game where um, he beat, I think it was the tight end. He went right through him and had a sack under three seconds. He also, his second sack was more of a coverage sack. But, you know, the thing with Peterson that I talk about, and I've said this before, is that dude has a motor. Like, even on his second sack where it didn't come quickly, Peterson never stops moving. Like, he will continue playing until the whistle, and that in itself is a, is a valuable tool. And that led to that second sack, but that first one was just a pass rush sack. So, again, stock up Peterson as well. Um, so I got stock up Hayden Rucci, Sky, Atticus, Hunter, Jake, and Peterson. and. I'm not going to go stock up Mordecai. Like he statistically he didn't have a great game, right? And he was the quarterback of a team that was tied 7-7 at half against Georgia Southern at home. Stock up on that one individual play though, where he had a bad snap near the goal line, corralled it, didn't panic, didn't turn it over, and was able to power it in for a touchdown. Like a lot of quarterbacks in that moment panic or or they don't crawl corral the ball or they speed up, right? So then they end up fumbling the ball again and throwing it out away or kicking it away. He, he's just a very veteran presence that never looks flappable, right? So I would say stock up. Just I just believe in the presence of Tanner Mordecai. I think he's a veteran there, and he just navigates the game well, although statistically it wasn't his best performance. All right, uh, coming up, we got a bunch more coming here. We're going to do our stock downs, including uh, stock down Georgia Southern fans. What is that about? We're going to talk about the next in Lockdown Badgers, but first, today's episode uh, is brought, this show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Um, BetterHelp is a, a way to get help into your lives through online therapy. And I've, again, I've talked about my wife as a therapist. Uh, it's it's incredibly beneficial. I've seen firsthand the impact that she's had on people. And it's not always about when people think of therapy and there's some stigmas out there. Um, they, they think, you know, you get therapy when there's a huge life changing event, but therapy can be all sorts of to help you sort through all sorts of life's normal issues, right? If you're stressed about changing a job or not getting everything done, you need to get done. Um, help with relationships with your, your significant others, your children, anxiety. Like there's all sorts of ways talking to someone can help you benefit. Using therapy can help you benefit. And again, I've seen it firsthand with the work my wife has done. And if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule, and you're just going to fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist. Switch therapists at any time for no charge. Get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash college today to get 10% off your uh, first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P.com slash college slash college. And today's episode is also brought to you by Athletic Brewing, a game changer of the week. Once again, Hunter Wohler with his ability to just completely do whatever he wants on the defensive side of the football field. And you know, Hunter Waller is much like Athletic Brewing. Uh, athletic Brewing has completely changed the non-alcoholic beer game. They make non-alcoholic beers that actually taste good. I've had them. They're incredible. My neighbor down the road just did a marathon. He uses them. He brought some over to me in a cooler before they even became a sponsor of the show. So I was already familiar with their products, which I love. Uh, and again, they've completely changed the game. Non-alcoholic beers, you have them at any time, whether you're before a workout, going to mow the lawn, do a podcast, whatever it is, over 50 styles of craft beers, no hangovers ever. You can find uh, Athletic Brewing Company's non-alcoholic brews at a store near you or buy online at athleticbrewing.com. First-time customers use code Locked On to get 15% off your first online order. That's code Locked On at checkout for 15% off your order. Near beer exclusions and conditions to apply. Athletic Brewing Company fit for all times. All right, let's keep going here. Let's do, and I do want to again say thank you to everybody tuning in as always. Let's do some stock downs. Um, stock down. First one's Bryson Green. Zero receptions today. And listen, he's had opportunities in the first couple of weeks to make some plays. And it just, he it hasn't come together for Bryson. You know, it, I, it's hard to say why. Um, certainly the expectation on this show, or the expectation on the program, the expectation when he talked to media members was that Bryson Green would come in and he would be one of your top two receiver, maybe your top receiver, and he's not in your top three, I would say, right now, right? It's it's pretty clearly to me, you have Chim Ray is the one. Um, then you have Pauling, DK, or to Pauling, uh, Skyler Bell. I think maybe see, maybe Bryson's your number four right now, but that's not what he was brought in here for. And what you, what you would like to see from Bryson 
is just the ability to use his physical size to go up and dominate some matchups, right? To go up and win some jump balls, to to impose his will a little bit. And listen, I think it's still there. Like, I think it's still going to happen. I think he's going to get better and better. But up to this point, we haven't seen that version of that player that we thought we would see. So that one is a little interesting to me. Uh, stock down, first halves. What is going on with this? Like, there, there are now three weeks in a row where it just has not come together in the first half, right? Three weeks in a row. You have a 7-7 game against Georgia Southern. Then you're obviously down 24-9 against Washington State. Um, and the Buffalo game as well was 14-10 at half. So something needs to change there because once is fine, two, mm, three is a pattern. That's three weeks in a row where Wisconsin has come out and they, they've they not played well enough in the first half. And that's going to come up. It's going to bite them in another game. Like if you go into the Big Ten schedule and you go down at half to some of these teams, you're not coming back. You're not doing what you did in the second half against Georgia Southern to Iowa, for example. So that's a stock down. And that's mostly you got to look at the coaching staff a little bit. They have to figure out a way to get into rhythm offensively in particular a little earlier. Uh, let's go stock down. Penalties, eight for 88 yards, including a couple big ones, a couple ones that really took away first downs, right? You had a uh, fourth and one, which was a first down penalty. Um, you had a, a couple face mask penalties, which gave Georgia Southern some first downs. So, yeah, that's got to get cleaned up a little bit. And then one more stock down, Ricardo Holman. Uh, you know, Ricardo Holman is a good player. He's a young player. He got targeted a little bit today. Uh, it looked like they found some ways to get after him. And maybe this is the pendulum of football, right? It looked like Alexander Smith had a better game. So maybe they went after Holman. It's hard to say with the All-22, but there is, he definitely looked like he had some issues. Uh, probably bid on a bit of a double move on a long um, Georgia Southern pass. And then he they were completing some passes underneath of him. So, um, listen, young player. He's going to keep getting better. These reps are great. But, yeah, it looked like he was targeted a little bit today. And then the last one, the last stock down I'd give you is we had a lot of Georgia Southern fans, right, in our in our live chat, the pregame chat. And we told them, listen, we're going to be here post game, win or lose. We will be here. And there was a lot of people bringing the smoke from Georgia Southern. I said, listen, if we beat you, I want to see you in this chat. I want to see you own it. And, of course, crickets. The only one that came in late was uh, the tip horn guy who said, well, we would have beat you if we turned, didn't turn the ball over six times. Yeah, maybe, but she did. Like that, like we would have beat Washington State if we didn't turn over to three times as well, but we did. Like, so stock down Georgia Southern. If you're gonna talk to trash, show up after the game. But anyway, um, on Wisconsin, quick stock up, stock down show. Really do appreciate everybody, and we'll talk tomorrow.